Court over and then cancel mutually. Cancel the court over. Thank you, Mayor. The Kingborough Community Hall Strategy 2021 to 2026 is an excellent document. And I'll just read out a small bit of the executive summary because to me this is kind of the most important bit. Council recognises the important contribution that community members and volunteer groups make to these halls that make them a focal point of social interaction and a source of pride and local identity. I live quite close to the Sandfly Hall and it's one of those ones where you could say, you know, it's um, not utilised every day, but it is utilised a lot and there's a market there and um, it's, uh, they find in this report that on average these halls are being used, you know, on average about three times per week, some of them more and some of them less, but they really still are, for many people, a focal point and a source of community pride. And there's a great bit in the report where it talks about how, for some families, generations have memories of these halls going back 100 years and they really are that that centre point where we can all feel connected to our community and connected to each other. So one of the key aims of this strategy is to bring, bring these loved facilities up to contemporary standards and indeed maybe some of the reasons why some of the halls are not as utilised as the others is because they're not meeting those contemporary standards and that's what this report really identifies in a very clear way. The strategy was developed following consultation with user groups and those hall management committees, these dedicated groups of volunteers who spend their time and their effort um, giving love to these incredible spaces and enhancing the community through all of those activities, whether they're markets or meetings or, or what have you. No rationalisation of facilities is proposed in this strategy. And that's another key point, you know, harking back to what I said about no privatisation of the Kingborough Sports Precinct. Equally, no privatisation and no dismantling of our community halls. There are some halls that receive a relatively low level of usage, but it is evident that they are still important assets within the local community. And the strategy acknowledges, of course, these incredible contributions of the volunteer hall management committees. Now, this strategy recommends an annual capital allocation of $250,000 over the next five years to address the upgrading requirements identified through consultation and the assessment process. And I think we would do well as stewards of this council and as stewards of the municipality to help encourage in our budget deliberations to make sure that that amount of money gets across the line and make sure that we're able to upgrade all of our community halls to contemporary standards. This strategy has a framework for the maintenance and upgrade of our 16 community halls and it schedules uh, capital improvements to be implemented over a five year period. It's developed in consultation with local groups and the incredible volunteers who make all of our halls happen and, and keep them up and running and, and undergo all of the, the care that, that they deserve. So I'm very proud of this report and I thank Mr Smee and, and I thank all of the staff who are involved in, in maintaining our incredible community hall assets. Thank you.